Excuse me. Excuse me, can you tell me where I might, um... Water my horse? Yes, there's a, a trough over there. There she is! Seize her! Sorry. It's I who should be sorry. You were nearly killed because of me. <laughs> Hardly. My head is much too thick for mere stone. Why did those people in the village attack you? I don't want to talk about it. People can be very cruel when they don't know you. They can say really horrible things. I can't stay here any longer. Where will you go? Another village. Well, if we're going to find one, we'd better get started. It'll be dark soon. I can find my own way. <laughs> can't just leave you out here all alone. You've done enough already. I don't mind. Another village can't be far, I'm sure. Enough. I can find my own way. Truly. If that is your wish. I don't even know your name. Rachel. Farewell, Rachel.
Well, there's no need for it, really. I can... So, you wanted to see me? Oh, yes. I... You see... Actually, Sir Thomas... That is... Yes. Well, what I mean to say is... I wanted to tell you something. So I gathered. I've decided to leave Covington Cross. Leave? Why? Don't you like it here? Oh, yes, very much. Well, then. It's just that, well, with Cedric no longer studying for the clergy, I'm rather useless. Nonsense, Friar. You're a very important part of this household. Without you, Covington Cross would be without, without, a, without, without a Friar. Nevertheless, I think it best. Give it more thought. I've already given it more thought. Then one more day of thought won't hurt. He may feel differently in the morning. I don't think so, my lord. But if you think so... Fine, Thomas. Should have been back by now. Well, he'd probably stopped a shelter somewhere. Richard can take care of himself. This storm shows no sign of letting up. I may be forced to stay the night. Worst things could happen, I suppose. <laughs> Much worse. It's all secure. As secure as it can be on a night like this. Some of the men were saying that the river has risen faster than ever before. If the dam breaks, most of the villagers will lose their homes. Damn the demon responsible for this deluge. What happened? Who is she? The young girl I met on the road. She was being attacked by some villagers. Attacked? Why? I don't know. She had to find a warm bed. The guest room in the East Tower. I'll bring some crafts first. Cedric, tell the cook to bring some hot broth. Oh. This miserable waif they've troubled me for, is it? Looks more like a peasant girl, if you ask me. Well, here's your bloody broth, me lady. I hope you're drowning it. Some more. 
right away. frightened. The one who's an anvil you were staring at most of the night, <laughs> as if you didn't know. Such imagination, wow, for a simple girl. Thick, that one is. Coarse. Does nothing for me, I assure you. Oh, then you won't mind if I chat him up myself, then? He's not your type. Mm, don't be so sure. He's a man, and he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> down here. He had no friends or family, not that I knew of. He was a difficult man to know. Unhappy and bitter is what he was. Yeah. Whatever the reason for his disposition, I'm sure it came out of the pain of a hard life. He will receive a proper burial, and the family he worked for will attend. Let's try and recall his good points, shall we? Well, one thing you could say about Cook, he wasn't a bad cook. Yes. Yes, we won't see food as good as that again at Covington Cross. It looks almost too good to eat. Almost. Did you do all this? I heard about the terrible tragedy. I just wanted to help. Thank you, Rachel.
Guess who? And for every wrong answer, I win a kiss. King Edward. Wrong, that's one kiss. Uh, the Pope. Two. The bravest and most handsome man in all of England. You peaked. Come on, I want to show you something. Where are you taking me? pales in comparison to you. Stay, Rachel. Here at Covington Cross. You know nothing about me. I know that we need a cook and that you're a good one. What more do I need to know? So simple. Why should it be complicated? Because people make it that way. They see things they want to see. Things that make it easier for them. What is this? It's an amulet. For good luck. I want you to have it. And promise me, no matter what happens, whenever you look at it, think of me. Are you sure you're all right? Yes. Yes. But I fear that something in this castle may not be. Would you like a taste? It smells delicious. Unique taste, though. It contains unique herbs. I'm not sure I recognize. Fenugreek. My wart. Mandrake root. They say it's bad luck to pick up a spoon you've dropped. So they say. It's getting dark soon. We better get home. I bet I can beat you home. Come on! You little cheat!
what is it? Hmm. More like what was it? It's a goat's head, I guess. Let's get out of here. see Sir Thomas, for I am an issue of urgent concern. If Sir Thomas is available, Baron Mullins, what shall I say the issue is regarding? The holy business of the church. has recently come here. Yes. You must hand her over to me. Immediately. Why? What's she done? Unspeakable evil. What kind of evil? She is a witch. A witch? It's a serious accusation. Have you proof? An entire village able to bear witness to the horrors she has wrought. Were you aware of the presence of evil in this castle? I... Answer him, friar. Tragedy has struck since this woman came here. The cook died. An accident. This is no accident, I assure you. You must hand her to me immediately. What will become of her? That is the church's concern, not yours. If I'm to hand this young girl over, there are questions. Yours I... is not to question. Yours is but to obey. But your request? Request. This is not a request. This is a demand from the church. Your church. Of course. But I'm sure you will agree a mistake would be a terrible thing. I must have time to consider this. The will of the church is quite clear on these matters. Anyone who stands in his path will be dealt with severely. Friendly advice from a concerned neighbor, Sir Thomas. I wouldn't consider too long. The abbot really does have quite a nasty side. Tell me about Rachel. What about her? Where did you meet? In a small village, half a day's ride from here. What were the circumstances of your meeting? She needed help. She was being attacked by villagers. Why are you asking me these questions? She's been accused of witchcraft. That is absurd. By whom? By the abbot himself. He and John Mullins have just left Father. Who still believes in such things as witchcraft? The church. While I was in the Holy Land, I heard many tales of sorcery and witchcraft. Yes, that's exactly what they are. Tales and stories for children at bedtime. I spoke to Rachel in the kitchen. She freely admitted to the use of such herbs as fenugreek, mugwort and mandrake root in her cooking. So? Well, they're all herbs associated with magic potions and witches' brews. More old wives' tales. The night cook died. He came running from her room. He was frightened, as if he had seen something most unnatural. The cook was terrified of his own shadow. She collected her ingredients from the forest. Now, in the same area, Eleanor and Cedric found a goat. 
Its head had been decapitated in some satanic ritual. You speak of these things as if you believe them. I don't know what to believe. My ears are deceiving me. They must be. Well, you must admit some pretty strange and bizarre things have happened since she arrived here. Every incident can be explained by coincidence. And the coincidences continue to multiply. Intelligent Armus. Learned Armus. Is it possible you've allowed ignorance and superstition to cloud your judgment? More likely, you've been blinded by love. You're condemning a young girl you barely even know. I have not condemned, I've questioned. It is the asking of the question itself which indicts, brother. I do, and I don't care how they feel. I don't care how anyone feels. Covington Cross will be back in a moment. What will you say to Armus? I do not have to explain my wishes and desires to Armus. He doesn't like me. He doesn't know you. He will turn you against me. My brother is harmless. At times, he just has too much knowledge for his own good. And besides, Armus is not the lord of this castle my father is. And what about him? I'll tell him that you would like to stay and that I would like you to stay. If only it were that easy. My father is a reasonable man. He'll listen to us. You'll see. Now, how about something to eat? I'm starving. Do you know what a double yoke means? I don't believe in that nonsense. It means there'll be a wedding soon. Well, perhaps I do. Richard, no. What? That's a cock's egg. A what? Look, it's smaller. To bring one in the house is very bad luck. To break one is... Nonsense! God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Through envy of the devil came death into the world. We took the body of our dear departed friend back whence it came. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection unto eternal life. How can you expect others not to believe in superstition if you do? Rachel! Doesn't it make any difference that I believe you? 
that I care for you. You go back to the abbey, I suppose. With the abbot, he's well intentioned. Forgive me, Friar, but he is a jackass. Yes, well, he's never liked me, it's because of my eye. Your eye, it's a bit off. I don't know if you've ever noticed. No, no not really. The abbot believes it to be a sign of the devil. But you're a friar. And a friar I'll stay, I'm afraid. Never to be anything more, if the abbot has his way. Armus! Help me get him in the wagon. in the grave. Soon another will follow. The Burbank used in conjunction with the garlic and the mistletoe, should make him better. And if it doesn't? Have you heard about Armas? What about him? He's fallen ill, seriously ill. Go to my chamber and wait for me there. What's the matter with him? We don't know. Can't you do anything for him? We're trying. I warned you she would bring sorrow upon your house. Great Sir Thomas was far wiser than the collective wisdom of the entire church. She seemed so innocent. Deception of the devil. This may be a most beguiling temptress. How can we be sure she's a witch? The predominant use of her left hand. The devil's hand. The wanderings over the countryside. Alone. And unmarried. Villages she's lived in destroyed by flood and fire. Precious crops blighted by pestilence. Drought. Good men have fallen ill and died through mere association with her. Death follows in her wake everywhere. How much more proof do you want? My lord, I fear Armas has taken a turn for the worse. Pray it is not already too late for your son. If she's not given to me, he will most surely die. You'll be safe in here. It's happening again. Your brother's been taken ill and they don't know why, so they have to find someone to blame. I should have never come back here. I won't let them harm you. What can you do against so many? Against your family? Trust me. I won't let them take her. Armas is gravely ill. It has nothing to do with her. I can't take that chance. Richard! Richard! Come back here! Richard! Listen to me!
to your homes. All of you. Get back. He who bears the mark of the devil. You dare to mock the very God you claim to serve? One must question, Friar, whose side you are really on. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sin is troublesome unto us, and we repent. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sin the is troublesome unto us. Troublesome unto us, and we repent. And we repent. Acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sins is troublesome unto us, and we repent. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. How is he? of our sins is troublesome unto us, and we repent. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sins is troublesome unto us, and we repent. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sins is troublesome unto us, and we repent. I can't find her. They've taken her, haven't they? There's nothing we can do. She is not what they say she is. I wish I could be as certain as you. What if she's innocent and they kill her? What if she's not, and Armas dies? He's my son, Richard, just as you are. Am I? My father taught me to believe in the goodness of mankind, not ignorance and superstition. To defend the weak and those unable to defend themselves. To judge people, not by what others might say about them, but by their own deeds. My father would have chosen the valiant path, no matter how difficult the journey. What are you two doing? You haven't been doing too well on your own lately. from the perils of this night and from the deceits of the world, the flesh and the devil. No, no. No. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sins is troublesome unto us, and we repent. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sins is troublesome unto us, and we repent. We acknowledge and bewail our wickedness. The remembrance of our sins is troublesome unto us, and we repent. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord, and I will repay. I will punish the world for its evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease, and lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Light it. You interfered once before. God's vengeance will be delayed no longer. will not bring back the life of the cook, or my son's health, or your crops. If she lives, more blights and plagues will be cast upon us. We suffered blights and plagues before this woman came to our land. 
And there'll be others after she's gone. I, more than anyone, have most to lose if this woman is a witch. And I say she is not. She has been charged by Holy Mother Church and Aye. found guilty. Who amongst you here dare challenge the authority of the Church? I do. You, friar. I say no. I always imagined you to be a messenger of the devil. Uh, now he proves it. Much of my life has been spent in fear. But I fear you no longer. Look at his eye. Look! God created man in his own perfect image. Who but the devil would create so hideous an imperfection? You have confused the church with yourself, Abbot. It's you who've condemned this woman, not the Holy Order. You've twisted the scriptures to justify the demons of your own ignorance. You dare to challenge me? A mere friar? A friar I may be, with one eye crossed as it is. But it sees most clearly what is before me. An imposter in the clothes of the Lord. Now listen to him. If you burn this woman, you'll have to burn me too. Move away. I shall not be responsible. Light the flame if you must, Abbot. But if you do, be warned that everyone will know forever of the injustice you have wrought against God. Move away, or you will be excommunicated. you will be forever without a place in the church. It's an empty threat you make, Abbot, for I already have a place. Light it! Something. You don't have to leave. I do. But this could be your home. This place holds many memories for me. But only one that is good. Forget what is past. Even if I could, the villagers never would. I need to find a place where I can be myself. Then I will come with you. Dear sweet Richard. Covington Cross is your home. But I belong with you. No. You belong here. <laughs>
Rachel! I'm sorry, I thought... For a moment. Rachel? Covington Cross will be back in a moment.